What's up, guys? It's Chris. Uh, welcome to VHB Engines. And uh, do me a solid right now and uh, ignore the sound of the frying here in the back. Got work in like an hour or two and wife's trying to hook it up with some home-cooked meal before I take off. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I just wanted to drop in with this uh, little juicy tidbit here. And um, just, you know, throw this information out real quick because it's, it's something that's kind of super important to me. And it's something that, like, it, it's just going to change my direction and how I do things for a certain engine build from now on. And, you know, guys, I've always complained about <clears throat> or talked about doing the Vitara Pistons, doing the Vitara Pistons for turbo because, they, you know, it's the most optimal route to go for cost, effectiveness, and whatnot. You'll still make the power. I mean, you'll still make power on them shits. Uh, plenty of people out there running 500 horsepower builds. Some brave guys going 500 plus with those pistons in the block. Um, so I've always said if you're if you're trying to go if you're trying to make a budget built D16 and you you want to make big power without going balls out, then get the Vitara pistons because going balls out you need forged pistons. Same thing like I can say with the K series. If you're gonna if you're gonna cross that 500 horsepower mark, then get forged pistons. Don't bother with doing the cast thing anymore. Um, but here, the uh, piston change here is a slight increase in cost, uh, but it is still cast. Um, now, we're talking about the PM6 pistons. And what happened that gave me this idea to begin with is um, I don't really, you know, like for you guys that have known that have been around for a long time and paid attention, I, I routinely fuck with D16 Y7s and Y8 blocks. And that's just because that's what's prevalent. You know, it's not any particular reason for me caring about anything like with the crank or whatever, any of that. It's just that I get and I build what I can use, what I can readily, what's readily available and viable. And there's nothing wrong with those blocks, so I routinely use them. Now, uh, when I, uh, you guys may remember a couple months back, before I got my permanent engine plug, that I went on a mission to get some engine blocks up north. <clears throat> well, in hindsight, thinking maybe, maybe that wasn't really necessarily worth the trip. Uh, but uh, the one good thing to come out of it is one of those blocks that I picked up was a D1686 block. And um, so the other day when I was lugging that thing around, <clears throat> I noticed that uh, I'm just looking at the pistons, right? And I noticed that the pistons are they're not dished at all, like even a little bit. They're all they're 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 flat. They're yeah, they're virtually flat faced uh, pistons, right? And so I'm like, well, that seems like to be naturally a higher compression. Than all the other pistons that you, you see, except for the P29. The P29, uh, now the PM6, I'm pretty sure, no, I'm not pretty sure, I know, like I said, the PM6 pistons come out of the D16A6, right? They come out of the CRX uh, ZC. But that CRX ZC, remember, there's two of those. There's one that's a single cam ZC, and then there's one that's the, um, the dual cam. Now, the dual cam, I'm pretty sure, is the one with the block that has stamped ZC on it, and then the single cam is uh, stamped the A6. But, uh, you know, if you look it up, the CRX, it says CRX ZC. But the P29s are the ones with the, the big ass dome on it, you know, high compression for real. And now, if you use the, P, uh, the PM, uh, the P29 pistons, those are like in 12, 8 change compression. So that's the route you want to go if you're really wanting to, um, if you really want to try and maximize what you're going to do um, in A. But, you know, the PM6 pistons give the absolute perfect compression for boost. Right, so I've said for the longest time, guys, that uh, you know that uh, you want to stay close to and your stock compressions for boost, and then people kind of like uh, capitalize on that, and then we've re reworked pistons now where the new optimal boost levels or compression levels for boost is around the 10, uh, 10, 1, 10, 2 to 1, 10, 3 to 1, and of course, that give or takes a couple, a little bit of compression based on your head block combination or whatnot. <clears throat> so being that the D16, well, the Y7s and Y8 blocks are my normal use, you know, I went and I checked it. I pulled up the compression calculator and a D16 uh, Y7 or Y8 block with a D16 Y8 head, D16 Y8 head gasket and PM6 uh, pistons is 10, 3, 4 to 1. That's absolutely perfect. That's exactly where you want to be at. Now, it does drop a little bit if you go the non-VTEC route and you use the Y7 head, but I don't really think anybody's doing that. It also does drop a little bit if you're using the Z... Uh, no, 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 I'm sorry. That is, yeah, Y8 and Z6 head. Either one of those combos you use, you're looking at 10, 3, 4 to 1. If you go non-VTEC and use the Y7 head, you're looking at 9, 6. But both of those are still much better options than 7, 5. All right? Now, again, the 7, 5, 1 compression Vitara pistons, the ones that are super deep dish they will still you'll still make the power you want but you're just gonna need a lot more boost right and then uh so a lot more boost you want to tend to run like a better fuel so 
I'm not saying you can't make the big power on, on pump, but it's just a lot safer and a lot better if you go on E85 for that, you know, to make a super high boost and make that kind of power. So with the uh, with this bump and compression, which is a very sizable bump and compression, you're looking at um, you're, you're looking at still making that kind of same kind of power with way less boost, right? <clears throat> and uh, so here's just to give an example of how how much better this option is, you know, compression wise, right? So you know that there's those what the P2P rods or whatnot. There's there's rods out there that are, you know they give you the compression bump. They they, they advertise oh it bumps you from seven five to like eight five or eight eight. Well, if you're thinking, damn, that's a good compression jump for the Vitara business, well, fucking imagine the compression bump you're getting for for this. All right, so, uh, yeah, that's, that's it, really. That's all I wanted to talk about. Um, uh, I guess uh, the only other thing I can think of to talk about for this for anybody else that would throw in a comment would be like, oh, P the piston to valve clearance or whatnot. Well, uh, you can get away with running the goddamn P29 pistons in the same setup too. So, and I don't think that's going to be a problem. So, I mean, these are flat, flat facing pistons, not fucking, not super high compression. So, if you can get away with running a goddamn high ass peak dome on the P29 pistons in the same setup, then I don't see why this would be a problem at all. Uh, it's nowhere near the same height. And um, yeah, so now I guess at the end of the day, the cost is you can if you're looking for to buy if you're looking to buy Vitara pistons individually, you can find Vitara pistons for on the low side of eighty eight dollars, the high side of one hundred and ten dollars. You can frequently find them in between the ninety to ninety five dollars. Now, uh, these these pistons right here, the only ones I see that are full floating in this performance wise cast that I see selling is Nip and Racing, and they have them for one hundred eighty bucks. But if you're looking at just like an eighty dollar hike in price for what's gonna save you on like the tuning side then I would definitely 100% justify it. And um, I think that this is also still very close. Like if you, if you get, if you're gonna buy, if you're buying a block and you're doing a build through me, uh, the, the cost of what you're gonna pay for this kit is, is extremely similar to what you're gonna pay if you were to go the other route anyway. Because I think it's like $525 for the Vitara piston, uh, scat rod and king bearing combo. And so if I buy the rods, and the pit and the, and the uh, bearings individually and then uh, buy the pistons on top of that i think it's relatively close to the same price um anyway it's like i said a small hike in price and astronomically better on the tuning side so <clears throat> from now on for people coming to me for single cam builds this is what i'm going to recommend of course you don't have to take my recommendation you can save like the 60 to 80 dollars but um i think it's a it's a silly foolish thing to do um also right now guys uh i um i had to move this is why you're seeing engines in the background again i had to move my or i dumped out i emptied out the shelter not the shelter jesus i emptied out my fucking uh my storage bay uh haven't gone in there in months uh, even then when i got there the other day i still had to have somebody move a car for me to get access to it um i just i can't justify the 550 dollar monthly cost at this rate anymore especially now like my last month was still decent on vhp engines income but this month has plummeted down i think i've made less than a uh, thousand dollars this month and that was mainly the money i made this far was the money left over from a build that needed to be finished from the from previous months so um i you know it's i'm still right now i'm, I'm going to work on finishing the single cam for these guys i still need to notch some blocks and all that stuff but uh the reason why i didn't get started on that well, i mean technically i started i put the i mounted the pistons on the rods that's something but the reason why I didn't get deep into starting that is because I spent uh, half my weekend, more than half my weekend, emptying out the, the um, what's this shit called, my my storage place. Uh, it's it's me and my my hundred pound wife moving all this shit. If you saw on Instagram the other day, the story I had, uh, it's a lot of shit. It's a lot of, a lot of engine blocks, a lot of parts. There's a mountain in my backyard right now, covered under by a tarp. I still got to figure out what I'm going to do with all that. And now my engine building shop, you know, that I have is completely fucking full and jacked up. So now I got to figure out how I'm going to reorganize that too. But in the meantime, I do want to get started on these blocks. I'm going to start notching. So I might be breaking my rule that I had moving into the house and doing something. But luckily for me, I have a little notch part in front of the house where I might be able to do some sneaky work there. I want to start breaking down the, the two engine blocks I'm going to be cutting up. And afterwards, I'm going to be trying to notch some more blocks as well. So that way, uh, well, we'll just see if I uh, see how it is. But I do, guys, I do have plenty of single cams, guys, if you wanted to buy a single cam block. If not, I can get one really easy and quick because they're all over where I get them from. So 
there's that also guys uh um you just gotta gotta pay attention on social media like I, i'm still getting a lot of I, like i just posted about these pistons like three days ago and then i'm getting i posted another picture again today sure last night and i'm getting picture uh, questions about the other pistons again like guys you can i, I throw out information all the time and you miss it that's part of the reason why i'm making this video today so that way if you ask about them again because i'm gonna be talking about them a lot i can show this i can show this video um guys uh follow on instagram follow on snapchat i guess instagram is probably the most important because I, I never fail to miss anything there facebook instagram and snapchat um i don't constantly make videos anymore just because the you know the factory runs low sometimes like i have occasionally like a couple of videos i could throw out but not as much as i had in the beginning um so watch instagram because there's a lot of times i drop little tidbits of information that isn't worth a video just yet but the information is still helpful so you know give a follow pay attention to what's going on there and you can still learn some shit um all right guys uh, that's gonna be it for today social media links are in the description down below and uh see you all in the next one peace